Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Talk Time with Pastor Krista. So today we are going to be talking about Mother's Day because Mother's Day is coming up on Sunday. So I thought, what better place to talk about Mother's Day than by the kitchen sink? Because that's where a lot of moms spend their time. But really, I'm coming to you from the kitchen sink because I have some things on my windowsill and next to my sink that remind me of some very special mothers in my life not just my own mom, who by the way, happens to be a rock star. So what do I mean the other mothers in my life? Well, I want you to think about this for a second. Not everyone who will be celebrating Mother's Day today still has their mom with them. Some of my friends have a mom who's living in heaven with Jesus. And I know that some of the children watching maybe are celebrating Mother's Day with the mother who raised them, not the mother who had them, but the mother who loved them all through their childhood and raised them. And I know that there are some people out there today celebrating Mother's Day who might have been raised by a dad. I have two little cousins, Jacob and Rosie, and they're being raised by two dads, but they're still gonna celebrate Mother's Day because there are a lot of women out there and a lot of moms out there that should be celebrated because even though they might not have their own children or they might love other children that aren't their own children like a mother would love a child, they still should be celebrated. So I'm gonna to talk to you about some of those moms in my life today. So first there is my own mom who is an absolute rock star and I adore her. And she raised me in really good ways and I will forever be grateful for that. But if you look on my windowsill, I have Willie and Millie, and Willie and Millie are salt and pepper shakers. And when my own grandma went to heaven to live with Jesus, I said, I don't care about jewelry and I don't care about all kinds of fancy schmancy things. I just want Willie and Millie because Willie and Millie were always on the children's table at every holiday we ever had. And this salt and pepper shaker reminds me of my grandma. And so I keep them right here on my windowsill and every time I look at them, I smile. And when I have a family party, why I pull them out. Now this over here, this is a picture of my grandma Esther and my grandma Esther was a piece of work and my grandma had a lot of family parties. She was an amazing cook. So when I have family parties now and I'm up late at night cooking for my family, I take this picture of my grandma and I put it right on my counter and I talk with her the whole time I'm cooking for my family because my grandma Esther was really cool. This is something also from my grandma Esther and this is a little, you're gonna laugh, are you ready? This is a little dish and in this little dish my grandma would keep her rings and when my grandma went to heaven to be with Jesus, they gave me this little dish so I could have it to remember my grandma and you know what I keep in it? This is very funny and some people might go, gross, Pastor Krista, but all my children's baby teeth are in this little dish. I cannot tell a lie. Then I've got two more things. I have this really cool book called The Meditations of the Heart. My own mom gave me this because my grandma Eleanor gave her this book for Mother's Day one year. My mom said, you know, Krista, maybe there's something in it you could use for talk times or for sermons. So my mom passed it on to me, so that's really special. And the last thing I have was not given to me by a woman who is a mother in my life, but it was given to me by one of my godchildren on Mother's Day. And this is a handmade card that she made, and she's an adult now, and she has three of her own beautiful children. But this was given to me by my godchild, and so I keep this always on my dresser, and when I get ready in the morning, it makes me smile. So... You can have lots of mothers in your life, and I want you to make sure that on Mother's Day, you recognize them all. Doesn't mean you have to buy them fancy gifts. All it means is you have to maybe give them a phone call and say, hey, Aunt Helen, I love you. Aunt Karen, thank you for all you ever did for me. Aunt Diane, I can't wait to see you again this summer when we all gather again. So those are the kind of things that we need to do on Mother's Day. Oh, and look at this. My bookmarker in my Bible for today's scripture is a bookmarker that was made by my grandma. So today's scripture is written by the, gospel, the disciple John, and it's taken from the Gospel John. And this is a story about what happened in the moment right before Jesus died. So Jesus was on the cross and he looked down below him and he saw his mother Mary and he saw his friend John. Listen to what Jesus said. 
This is in the words of John, standing near the cross was Jesus' mother, Mary. And when Jesus saw his mother standing there beside me, his close friend, he said to her, he is your son. And to me, he said, John, she is your mother. And from then on, I took her into my home because one of the very last things that was important to Jesus was that Jesus would take care of his mom. And that's a really important lesson for us today. So I know that even if you don't have your own mom around on Mother's Day, I want you to think of some of the amazing women in your life who have been like a mother because everyone has women in their life like that. And how blessed are we that that's the situation, right? So we are going to sing a song today. I think, oh, I got to sneeze. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. God bless me. So we are going to sing, let's sing Peace Like a River today, okay? I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. My favorite part, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. Now really fast, all together, here we go. Ready? I've got peace, love, and joy like a river. I've got peace, love, and joy like a river. I've got peace, love, and joy like a river in my soul. I've got peace, love, and joy like a river. I've got peace, love, and joy like a river. I've got peace, love, and joy like a river in my soul. And I know all of you older children out there were trying that with me. I saw you. Like the lady on Romper Room. Wink. Nod. So everybody, you have an absolutely wonderful day and a really good weekend and celebrate some of the women who are like moms in your life and celebrate your own mom if she's still around to celebrate with. And how awesome is that, right? So we are going to do our benediction. Here we go. My heart loves your heart because Jesus first loved us. God bless you. Have a great weekend and we will see you on Tuesday next week.